So after kind of contemplating a few more things yesterday, after looking through all my iOS 17 content, I came to another conclusion. The iPhone 6s could have probably ended up getting iOS 17 if I'm being completely honest. And I feel like I could just keep going back and back until all the iPhones, but definitely this is the cutoff point. I don't think the iPhone 6 should have gotten iOS 13, 14, 15, 16, or 17, you know, for the most part. But within iOS 17, like I said, if I look at basically how these specific phones have been operating the last couple of years, when you take a look at the iOS 16 devices, there were iPhones out there like the 6S and 6S Plus that had the same chipset as an iPad that was supported on iPadOS 16, but was not supported within iOS 16 for those same chipsets. So that always kind of stood out to me and that always kind of upset me because if an iPad can support the next version of software with the same chipset and the same internals, why couldn't an iPhone? Now, this does directly bring me within iOS 17. Between iOS 16 and iOS 17, there just weren't really massive changes that would require massive changes to basically iOS in order for an iPhone to run at the same level as another iPhone. We've already kind of seen this within iOS 16. Apple very, you know, they limited the features within iOS 16 quite a bit for the iPhone 10, iPhone 8, and iPhone 8 Plus. The 10s and 10R and 10s Max ended up getting a lot more up, you know, features within iOS 16 than the iPhone 10. However, within iOS 17, basically they went ahead and did the same exact thing, but up the generation. You really need an iPhone 12 or newer in order to get access to basically all the features within iOS 17. And even then, sometimes you need the Pro or Pro Max models. With the iPhone XS even, which was the cutoff point last year for a lot of these features, it's now the standard. It's now like the base. You need like an iPhone 12 at the bare minimum in order to even get, you know, a couple more like features here and there, which is crazy. So I say that to say an iPhone 6S probably could have gotten probably the same amount of features as an iPhone 10 on iOS 16, you know, compared to iOS 17. So if I take a look at that, the iPhone success, two gigabytes of RAM, Apple A9 chip, I do feel like although it is kind of pushing it, and although I probably wouldn't even want this, the iPhone success could have probably supported iOS 17. And I say that to say not to tell Apple to support the iPhone success, but more so of the fact that the iPhone 10, iPhone 8, and iPhone 8 Plus, all three of those iPhones ended up getting discontinued with software. And I really do feel like that was not the right move from Apple. I really do feel like they should have continued supporting those iPhones, especially considering the importance and the impact that the iPhone 10 had. And the fact that they went ahead and went away from that and they just supported the iPhone 10s now when they cut off the iPhone 10 just right now, I feel like that's kind of crazy. And I feel like they should have supported that iPhone for as long as they could. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.